everyone. This is the Free American Press with your host, Alexander Horat. Today, I'm going to be talking about nuclear war. But before I get into it, if you could please subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video, that would be really appreciated. So I'm really afraid, everyone, that there may be nuclear war or there may be a pretend nuclear war. And what this will do is basically throw America into mass chaos. And uh, pretty much uh, FEMA, you know, people, the number one thing is don't go on the train. Uh, they say, oh, you need to be bus somewhere uh, because that could be a very bad place in connection to FEMA. Uh, I'd say this is a really big thing that we could see more government overreach. And it's a very scary thing. But the number one thing is not to panic and is to prepare now uh, before anything happens. Because if there is going to be some sort of war, I'm not saying, uh, because the media wants you to be panicked. That's the number one thing. They want you to be panicked. And they basically want you uh, basically running to their FEMA camps, uh, unfortunately. And they want to have control over your lives. The media is the mouthpiece of the new world order. And uh, it's not to be trusted. But there is some things we could prepare because if there is a nuclear bomb drop, most likely people will go and empty the shelves in a mass run. And unless you have considerable food stored up already for say, let's say a month for the initial, initial disaster, or if you don't have um, you know, a farm or something, then it might be wise to stock up in the coming days uh, with non-perishable non goods if you can. Uh, it may be a very wise thing. So I'm gonna share the articles that kind of seems a little odd to me. So it says right here, fence being reinstalled around US Capitol for Biden's speech. So they're gonna install, uh, it, so it, there used to be a fence right uh, after uh, that protest in Washington DC. And now they're actually going to be putting another one up. Now there's a possibility uh, that could be uh, because of this uh, freedom convoy possibly but they said they weren't actually entering Washington, D.C. They're trying to say that's the reason why they're putting up this fence. But uh, then we're seeing this also, and basically more propaganda. Propaganda: FEMA, in case of nuclear explosion, maintain social distancing and wear a muzzle. So that's basically uh, what they're trying to say. Uh, and that doesn't make any sense. That's basically just to keep Americans uh, isolated during a big catastrophe when you would actually want the help of your friends and uh, your friends and your family. They wanna keep you isolated and basically, you know, uh, just listen to the government media and what they want you to do and like go to the gulag or go to the FEMA camp, uh, go here. And we know that the elites want to drastically uh, reduce the human population. so. Seems like a very odd thing, a way for them to take away our freedoms. And I just don't like it. I smell a rat. Uh, it seems like something could happen. And I'm not saying, you know, uh, anything's going to happen. But if something's going to happen uh, with, uh, you know, this whole Putin thing and everything, it's going to be happening in probably two weeks or so, I'd say, uh, with the escalation. And if something doesn't happen in two weeks, probably for at least the foreseeable future until they make a new disaster. Uh, there's probably no likelihood of a nuclear war, hopefully. And uh, there's even a chance that this could just be all propaganda and there's not going to be another nuclear war. And this is just, you know, uh, basically Cold War rhetoric saying that we're going to be having uh, nukes and everything. But Putin has been threatening uh, nuclear weapons and uh, chemical warfare. So they're making him the boogeyman uh, for everything. And he's part of this whole uh, new world agenda as well, but uh, they're making him the boogeyman if they do want to start a World War III. And uh, yeah, pretty scary. Just have to say, be prepared and um, stock up on food, you know, water, have a lot of water stored if you uh, don't have a well or access to a river. And I would just like to say thank you for watching this video. If you could please share it with your friends, that would be really appreciated as well. And, as, and if you can follow me on my um, other websites such as uh, YouTube, Gab, Parlar, uh, Minds.com, and actually Fakebook as well, and, and also Twitter. Uh, that would be really great too. 
and also uh yeah subscribe to me on youtube as well and uh, i just really like to say thanks again and if you could also uh if you'd like to support what i'm doing i did set up a paypal fundraiser uh, i'm gonna leave the link down in the description below so you can all see it um, if you'd like to support what i'm doing you can uh, donate there and basically it's just to raise money to help me continue uh, and getting the word out of how our freedoms are being taken away and how we can stop that. And I really thank you for your support on that. And uh, thanks again for watching this video. I hope you all have a good day. God bless.